Hi everyone, I'm Felix with Shop3D and today we're going to be setting up the Fuse 1. It's been three years in the making, so I am super excited. So, let's get started. Alright, so let's go over some site preparation. You'll need measuring tape and some masking tape. The Fuse 1 comes with a manual that details the entire procedure, but I'm going to go over it with you here with our setup. So we are starting at the corner, which means that we have to give at least 24 inches from the wall to the fuse sift. Once you have that marked down, you're gonna mark the footprint of the fuse sift, and after the fuse sift, you're gonna mark a little bit more clearance. Now the minimum is 24 inches, but we have to give it at least 36 inches here because we have the fuse one right after it. And then you're gonna give a little bit more clearance, which is eight inches, at least eight inches, after the fuse one. And the entire assembly has to be offset at least eight inches from the back wall to allow for ventilation. In addition to the space, there are also some electrical and environmental requirements that you have to meet. Each machine will need a dedicated 15 amp circuit attached to it, and if your vacuum draws more than 12 amps, the fuse sift will need at least a 20 amp breaker. You'll want to keep the temperature in the room 18 to 28 degrees Celsius, and keep air flowing through the room constantly. In addition to that, make sure to keep these machines away from any open flames or machines that can produce sparks. Alright everyone, so we're going to be unboxing the fuse sift. I'm going to be using the ceremonial knife that opens up all the boxes of Shop 3D. And there you have it everybody, this is the Fuse Sift. It was pretty easy to unwrap and it looks great. It has the Formlabs aesthetic and kind of looks a lot like the 3L but without the orange cover because you don't need it. This machine actually sifts through your powder and uh, recycles about 70% of it so that you're using 70% recycled powder in your build chamber. And with all that set up, we're ready to set up the Fuse 1. Let's go. So now that we have the Fuse Sift set up, we're ready for the main event, the Fuse 1. We're gonna unbox it and go get Sha to help me lift it into place and set it up for the first print. Let's get it. So we got the Fuse 1 unwrapped. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but it looks awesome, feels sturdy, and I can't wait to set it up. 